So I thought I'd just talk through some of the veins that I'm adding on here because I know some of you will be a little bit nervous to start adding things where, you, where you've got big gaps. And all I want to sort of show you is how plain this area looks and then how much better it looks when you start to build up the colours. So as always, starting with your lighter colour, okay, you're going to add some of the veins in there where you've got some nice gaps. So that's pale. I put my pale crayon on that. And you can fade that through as well. So we can make that fade. We don't want to hide all the paint. That's not the mission here. We want to enhance it. Then you can see I've started to add some of the mid-green colour there. And now I'm going to show you how I'm adding darker green at the top. So we're taking that dark green at the top and we're fading that bit through. Okay. And then pressing heavy and slowly pressing lighter. Like I said before, the mission is not to hide the paint, but to enhance it. I'm going to make that nice and crisp and fade that out with some soft circular motions. I'll do it again here, so you can see. And that's gonna help with your 3D form by curving over as well. So this bit, we curve this way, this bit, we curve this way. And you can see, I'm just making that look better. I wanna hide that photocopy line while I'm here. So I'm gonna press heavy there. I can't drag that down much further because it's going too light. So I'm going to use my, oh, my lighter green on that section there as well, which I've just dropped. So getting the lighter green on this bit and dragging that through and hiding that photocopy. Fade that out with soft circular motions or just press lighter. The next bit we can do is to try and add, once this corner's done, is add the navy blue, which is going to make it really pop. So, taking the navy in that corner there, adding that, and then just fading that into that dark green. The, na the navy blue is too dark to touch the paint. It should only be mixed into the crayon. So if you're starting to put your blue on your paint, it's probably taking it a little bit too far. And that's just going to help that really stand out and look realistic. And there you go.